intermolecular forces today. We're going to look at inter versus intra. This is actually intramolecular bonds. They are strong bonds inside molecules. So the first example is ionic. The ionic example is sodium chloride. Sodium cations and chloride anions stay together as a crystal and they are complete trade of electrons, right? And then look at the second one, B, covalent molecules, hydrogen, HCl, and so on. And these ones actually share electrons and the two nucleus in the each side and the two electrons middle in the middle make a bond, covalent. So these are intra. Then again, another intra bond is metallic. It's called the sea of electrons. And actually the cations, something like aluminum, cations are actually submerged, happily swimming around in this sea of electrons. So that's what the metallic um, bonding. So all these three, A, B, C, are actually intramolecular, inside a molecule, inside the matter. So that's what this one. So these are stronger, hard to break, and they give completely different properties. Today, we're going to look at intermolecular forces. So that's the better term. So where do we have it? In between molecules and atoms. So helium, two atoms in between, and oxygen, two molecules in between. So these are intermolecular forces. Let's get water. I'm going to draw water a little bit differently. See, big oxygen atom and two hydrogens. The hydrogens gets delta plus, small partial charge, and oxygen gets delta minus, small negative charge, right? Now, they, when they come closer, this delta minus and delta plus interact. That's the intermolecular force. That's actually called hydrogen bonding. So I'm going to go to the details of hydrogen bonding in a moment, but also we can simplify these big water molecules into a simple form like this. And what happens? Oxygen, hydrogen gets the delta plus, oxygen gets the delta minus, partial positive, partial negative. They interact each other, intermolecular forces, and that's hydrogen bonding. Now these two are actually intra covalent bonds, right, in the white circle. 